Hello, my name is Ian Lan. I'm the Senior Director for Aerospace and Defense Marketing at Synopsys. And I'm here today with Jagesh Patel, our Technical Marketing Manager responsible for Photonics at Synopsys. Jagesh, welcome. Thank you, Ian. Today we'll be discussing Photonics products and solutions as they're used in aerospace and defense. Can you please tell us why there's such an immense amount of interest in adopting photonics, and especially in such a wide range of applications, Jagesh? Uh, you're right, Ian. So photonics and fiber optics are on the rise, and some believe we are experiencing an optical mega cycle. Uh, so there is a dramatic explosion of data, cloud services, and internet traffic have exposed the bandwidth limitations of copper, which is why you see single more fibers uh, rapidly replacing copper almost in every interconnect technology. Now, photonic integration offers many advantages. It offers higher energy efficiency, smaller footprint, enhanced reliability, and lower cost. In fact, if you look at last few years of government funding activities, it's clear that photonic integration is recognized as essential to national security. For example, in 2015, uh, the Department of Defense created an American Institute for Manufacturing Integrated Photonics, which is uh, AIM Photonics, as is known now. Uh, then in 2018, uh, the Congress uh, allocated 1.2 billion US dollars to promote research and development in uh, quantum information science. Now, as we know, uh, photonics is a key enabler to quantum computing, quantum communication, quantum cryptography, for civilian and military applications. So yes, there is tremendous amount of interest in photonics and fiber optics uh, everywhere, but more specifically to the aerospace and defense market. Wow, excellent. Uh, I didn't realize the extent of the investment and the breadth of the effort that's going on already. Uh, can you tell me, uh, what, is the, what are the challenges and the benefits of using photonics in aerospace and defense systems? Sure. So traditionally, as we know, uh, the communication infrastructure within aerospace and defense is mostly, let's say, wireless and copper dominant. So there is wealth of uh, in-house RF or radio frequency expertise already out there. However, the research and development efforts on the photonic side within aerospace and defense sector is on the rise only very recently. And so there is some knowledge gap there. Then. Uh, the reason for, let's say, uh, recent interest uh, in fiber optics is mainly that existing copper-based infrastructure is no longer enough to support increasing amount of data that is coming from today's, uh, say, ultra-high resolution aerial and satellite imaging, uh, communication and sensor networks, real-time simulations, high-performance computing, onboard entertainment, and high-speed internet. And uh, if we look at, let's say, optical fibers, they offer much higher bandwidth, provide significant weight savings. So as we know, weight is a critical need in aerospace. Uh, fiber optics provides, let's say, much lower uh, maintenance, provides higher durability, uh, much better reliability. Now, in addition, we know that photons travel much faster than um, uh, electrons. And so fiber optic systems have, let's say, much uh, less latency compared to copper-based communication systems. Uh, if we talk about uh, other advantages, so unlike copper-based systems, uh, fiber optics consumes less energy, generates no heat, offers excellent protection against fire, and provides immunity to, let's say, from RF interference. Uh, that means no eavesdropping. Uh, if we talk about spectrum, uh, the wireless RF spectrum is scarce, we know that, and it's heavily regulated. On the other hand, photonic spectrum is vast and free from uh, regulatory or compliance obligations. So there are many benefits to fiber optics and photonics, and it can bring many benefits to uh, the aerospace and defense community. Well, I didn't realize the extent of it, all the way from, uh, from heat to weight to, uh, to just the, the cost of, of uh, using the, the fiber, so excellent. Now, what photonic solutions does Synopsys offer? Yeah. Synopsys offers uh, industry's broadest photonic products portfolio. So we can, uh, let's say, divide this portfolio into three groups, uh, the photonic device design, uh, photonic systems design, and photonic integrated circuits design. On the device design side, uh, the Synopsys R-Soft photonic device tools offer simulation for 
active photonic devices and passive photonic devices. Now, active photonic devices are the components such as lasers, weak cells, modulators, uh, uh, and those kind of devices, photo detectors also is uh, less than active device. On the passive devices uh, are components such as waveguides, fibers, gratings, resonators, and so on. Uh, from the system design perspective, Synopsys Opsim is an award-winning fiber optic and free space optical systems and circuit simulator. And then there is uh, OptoCompiler, uh, which is uh, industry's only unified electronic and photonic IC design platform. So as you can see, we cover all areas from photonic device design to system design and the photonic integrated circuit design. Excellent, that's very good. Um, and how do these solutions support our aerospace and defense customers? So aerospace and defense uh, system designers are investigating adoption of photonics in uh, land, sea, air, and space systems. Uh, fibers are clearly valuable for moving data in a number of ways. Uh, say from data center to edge as part of network infrastructure, uh, between sensors in the field and central processing facilities and command centers, uh, for signal transmission embedded applications such as uh, radar on a ship, uh, for sensor applications such as fiber optic gyroscopes. So as we saw earlier, uh, Synopsys provides tools for design and simulation of fiber optic systems, electronic photonic circuits, active and passive photonic uh, devices and nanoscale optical structures that are of interest to aerospace and defense industry. Okay, excellent. And can you provide a couple of example applications as well as um, the, the benefits for those applications for our customers? Sure, so let's take a couple of applications. So one may be on the data communication side, another on the sensor side. So RF over fiber or radio frequency over fiber is a choice of uh, high-speed data transmission in uplink and downlink uh, satellite communications. Now, uh, designers of this type of links need to consider complex trade-offs that involve uh, interplay of uh, noise, sensitivity, bandwidth, dynamic range, and linearity of the, of the link. Now, if you are a designer on the transmit side, then for you, the link linearity and high RF power over wider bandwidth is most important than noise. On the other hand, if you are designer on the receiving side, then low noise and high dynamic range are more important. Now, OPSIM, uh, which is a Synopsys fiber optic uh, and free space optic system design tool, uh, is an ideal tool for rapid prototyping of RF over fiber systems and do all this type of complex, uh, let's say, design trade offs. Uh, let me give you another example, and that is on the uh, sensor side. Now, photonic and fiber optic sensors are uh, uh, an attractive alternative to their mechanical counterparts. And that is because uh, photonics typically uh, has, let's say, less number of moving parts. So that means a lower requirement for maintenance, has immunity from RF interference, it's smaller in size, and lower in weight. Um, specifically, to give you a more specific example of an interferometric fiber optic gyroscope, or IFOG as is known, uh, it's rapidly replacing mechanical gyroscopes um, for navigational and attitude control in aerospace because it offers many benefits. It's compact, it's lightweight, it has no moving parts. That means it has a quick startup. Uh, it's uh, much less sensitive to temperature, much less sensitive to vibration and shocks. Um, it's maintenance-free, offers better durability, longer life. Now, uh, if you are an IFOG or interferometric fiber optic gyroscope sensor designer, you know that designing is complex. It needs uh, advanced uh, capabilities or advanced analysis of uh, uh, physical phenomena such as uh, Sanyak interferometry, Monte Carlo simulation, polarization, reciprocity type of effect. Uh, fortunately, Synopsys Opsim is the right tool for this type of design. It comes with a rich library of components, visualization option, options, and uh, uh, post-processing options for the data, as well as optimization and so on. Okay, very good. Um, from SATCOM to gyroscopes, I uh, am impressed with the, the details and capabilities of our solutions. Um, I wanted to dig in just a little bit further. You, you mentioned some of the benefits of you know, aerospace to aerospace customers previously, but could you expand that a little bit and just tell us how does this benefit not only defense aerospace, but commercial aerospace? Sure. 
the commercial aerospace industry can benefit uh, from the advantages of photonic and fiber optics as we, as we saw uh, just uh, some time back. Uh, let's look at the modern commercial aircrafts. They have between 70 to 300 miles of copper cables on average, which can weigh approximately anywhere between, let's say, 1,750 to 7,000 pounds. Now, granted that we cannot replace entire everything that is copper cable uh, by, uh, by fiber, but if we can replace at least the communication cables that is of copper uh, uh, by single mode fiber, uh, then it can go a long way towards reduction in weight uh, and size. And at the same time, it will improve the thermal efficiency, it will improve energy efficiency, it will improve spectral efficiency, which means now you can transmit uh, more data. Um, and uh, Synopsys uh, photonic design tools offer productivity gains in designing avionic fiber optic links uh, and photonic integrated circuits. Okay, very good. Um, yeah, I actually worked at uh, one of the, the large aircraft manufacturers uh, early in my career. Uh, it was literally tons of weight that was saved with photonics and fiber. Yeah. Um, well, I want to thank you for your time today, for joining us in this discussion, and for the insights that you brought to us. Do you have any closing remarks? My pleasure, Jan. Thank you, and thank you for having me. Uh, you are very welcome. Uh, uh, in closing, as we see that photonics and fiber optics, it's an exciting time for everybody in the aerospace and defense industry. Uh, there is a high demand for spectral efficiency, lowering weight, and photonics and fiber optics bring that to the table. Uh, integrated photonics, for example, is a very exciting area. Quantum computing is an exciting area. Everywhere, photonics and fiber optics will play a major role. And Synopsys has solution modeling and simulation related tools for each of those applications. And we are here and happy to help. Okay, well, very good. Uh, my thanks to you again, and also to the audience who joined us for this newsletter. Uh, we look forward to working with you in the future. And uh, we look forward to future newsletters with uh, other great topics on aerospace and defense technology. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>